Today, I'll show you how Immerse's VST Ambi Decoder can bring more spatial definition, clarity, and new dimensions to your music mixes. Listening to stereo music on headphones, the sound pans between left and right, just inside your head. When you get to mix in ambisonics, you can pan the sounds in any direction, including behind you or above you, or even below you. But now how do you hear those sounds in all directions? The answer is Immerse, providing your personalized HRTF or head-related transfer function directly into VST Ambi Decoder. Imagine the creative storytelling you can achieve by delivering a multi-dimensional music mix for headphones. In addition, Immerse will help you achieve better clarity and spatial separation between your different voices and instruments, which means less masking and more openness in a crowded mix. Today, I'll show you a simple workflow for converting your mix from stereo to ambisonics, as well as go over specific examples of these benefits. Please wear headphones while you're listening so you can hear all the differences between a regular stereo mix and the benefits of mixing with Immerse. We are listening with my Immerse profile, but for the best experience, please try this out with your very own personalized HRTF. Visit our website to download the Immerse software, create your personalized HRTF, and then select your profile in VST Ambi Decoder. We're gonna start here with a stereo session. First up, in your audio connections, you're gonna need to create a new third order ambisonic bus. And you're gonna have to ensure that your control room is enabled right here. Then um, you're gonna take your individual tracks and instead of sending them to the stereo out, you're gonna send them to your third order ambisonics track. Right now we're gonna jump into the mix and we're gonna start by listening to the plain stereo mix down. This was the original mix of the track without any alterations. Now let's listen to the binaural mix using my Immerse with VST Ambi Decoder profile. breaking down some of these elements. Let's look at the drums. We have three different drum stems here. We have this high pass percussion, kind of our hi-hat, and I've chosen to pan that with a little bit of height. And here we have the primary beat, and it is panned widely, directly left and right, plus or minus 90 degrees. When you add the high pass percussion above it, you can hear the offbeat kind of rise up. And the third element that we have here is the extra beat, which it has a lot more of bass elements. And in order to give it a little bit more space and separation from the big beat, rather than panning it just at 90-90, I bring it in a little bit at plus or minus 60 degrees. And this helps to keep a little bit more uh, coherence in the bass and that feeling of it being driving towards the center. So let's take a listen to that track. And now we can hear them all three together. And we can hear that same section in the original stereo mix down. But you can really hear the, the difference of each of the different drum elements in the Immerse mix. And that feeling of the high hats of offbeats kind of rising up into the air above you. So now I wanted to take a look at some fun that I had with automating and spatializing the voices. I duplicated the track twice over and 
created small delays and panned these duplicated elements. So the effect is that the voice starts here, moves above us, and then behind us. And so let's listen to each of those in separation and then we'll listen to them together. So first let's listen to the main voice. Just for a minute, let me take you for a ride. And now let's listen to the the track when it's above us. Just for a minute, let me take you for a ride. Listen to those together. Just for a minute, let me take you for a ride. And let's listen to it now behind us. Just for a minute, let me take you for a ride. And now all of it together. Just for a minute, let me take you for a ride. So instead of the voice having this kind of um, only frontal aspect, just for a minute, let me take you for a ride. We expand the voice all the way behind you, and it helps it stand up in the space. I find this really effective as it's um, being panned left and right. Let's take a listen to some of the other down mix options we have in the VST Ambi Decoder plugin. So uh, I'm going to start switching between the standard HRTF and the Facebook HRTF, along with the Immerse HRTF. So we'll start with Immerse. Now to me, uh, what I'm hearing here is um, the, the Facebook HRTF has almost too much of a bass boost and a kind of flatness in the higher frequencies, which is condensing the spatialization a little bit. I'm not hearing as much of that beautiful airy height that I was um, so excited about when I was mixing the sound. In the standard HRTF, I like the high frequency detail, but I'm missing too much information in the mids and the lows. I'm not hearing the definition here that I hear with Immerse. Also, the vocal line moved from what was technically panned at around 60 degrees to more like 90 degrees, so my spatial accuracy was off. In general, from these options, I feel that the Merce HRTF is bringing me the best spatial definition and clarity to my mix. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please click on the link to start your free trial of Immerse with VST Ambi Decoder. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at embodyvr.co. Happy mixing! <laughs>